My name is Natalia, and I grew up on the south side of Chicago. I attended Mushin College Prep, which is a part of the Noble Street Charter Schools. I graduated this past June in 2014, and I decided to apply to Launch U because I felt like I needed extra help in choosing what college I wanted to go to and what it was that I wanted. Um, and my school was really great about mentoring and helping you with the process, but I feel like I needed that more individual help, which is what Launch U gave me. And my mentor was Andrea, and she helped me in many ways, one of them being that she helped me realize what it was that I wanted in college. Um, my first choice was always DePaul University, and I wanted it for the wrong reasons. I wanted to go there because my friends were going there, because the campus was beautiful, and because it was one of the first college campuses that I visited in my sophomore year. And I was just so in love, and I didn't realize that they didn't have the major that I want to pursue, and it's not somewhere that I actually want to be. Also, they didn't give me enough financial aid. Um, and then she helped me realize what it was that I did want, and I found it here at Knox College, which is where I'm attending. My favorite launchy memory, I think, is when we first met. Um, when we were getting together, we played games, and it was after our interview. And we talked to the adults, and we talked to other children, or other teens. And... I remember my mentor was sitting next to me and there was a lot of people by each other and we were talking and we clicked really well and I was really excited that I got to talk to her and that I met her she's a great mentor um, yeah that's my favorite memory um, something that I didn't know about college that launch you taught me was how much responsibility we're gonna have so while being here if you're living on campus your parents aren't here, nobody's here, and nobody's here to tell you how to manage your time and what to do. It's, you're on your own. Um, I mean, you have help here, but your daily basis is by yourself. And it's crazy how much freedom you have and how you have to discipline yourself to get what you need to do done and to prioritize. Um, and something about college that I didn't expect was... I think the people. I felt that college was going to be a lot of, I don't know, I don't know what I expected from the students actually. I just didn't expect it to be the way it is now. Their students on campus are so amazing. Everyone is really nice and it is a lot more diverse than I imagined it would be. Um, and the teachers are just really cool. And I just expected them to be more strict and it to be all lectures, but it's, it's not. And it's amazing, and I think that's one of the pluses of going to a small liberal arts school. Um, and my major, I'm currently undecided. I'm almost sure that I want to major in creative writing and have a minor in journalism, um, but I'm not positive yet. And in 10 years, I see myself, well, of course, graduated from college, hopefully in grad school, or finishing grad school, um, and then having a good career. This is math. Um, this is the Science and Math Center, and this is where I have my first period of class, Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays um, at 1040, and then on Thursdays I have a four-hour lab in this building for chemistry. And if you're planning on being a science or math major, this is where all of your classes will be. Um, so now we're walking to the library, and that small building right there is where you have some classes, but it's not used very much. Um, this building right here and the building behind it are both frat houses. This building right here is Seymour Library, which is the largest library that we have on campus. It is three floors and it is very resourceful and it is open every day until 1. Right here is GDH, which is where I have my third class of the day, um, and my class is Creating Monsters. We are inside of Taylor Lounge, which is where I like to study unless I'm reading, because sometimes it can get really crowded. 
And my friends and I always come here and just sit and do homework. And if we you can see this way, um, there's more tables. And then out there, there's just a lot of seating area and people will have meetings. And then if you have a movie that you need to watch for class or just want to come watch in general, you can use one of these two TVs. Um, and then this is more of where people just come sit and talk. And then if you come on this side of Taylor Lounge, there is places where you can play. Um, so people will come here and just chill. And then there is a place to play ping pong, there's air hockey, there's um, foosball, and then there is soda. And yeah, and then we will have a DJ in here and it'll get really loud and really crowded. And yeah, it's a really fun place to be. Prairie, um, which is very symbolic to us because our mascot is the prairie fire, and occasionally the school will come together and burn the prairie, which helps it grow. Um, and then right next to it, right here, is the tennis courts, um, and it is always full of people during the day. And then if you look that way, uh, that is where the track field is. Um, and then next to it, the one, the building with the blue roof is our gym and there's a pool in there, there's the weight room, um, and then we have the volleyball gym and basketball gym. And then if you, you can't see it from here, but behind the track field, um, there is the football field. So now we are going to go into my room, and my roommate's name is Andrea, as you can see. And we have a whiteboard for people to write on, and then everyone wants me to put when I'm here, so I put my, when I am here. Um, we have another whiteboard in here, which my friend Caitlin wrote on. Um, and if you come in, this is my side of the room. Um, and I have the L system up there. And then I have some pictures, um, but some fell off. These are all my dishes. Um, this is my desk. You're probably wondering where my bed is. I promise I have a bed and I will show it to you later. Um, and then this is my roommate's side of the bed. My side, her side of the room, I mean. It works out pretty well. Hi, I'm back and I am in my onesie. And you're about to find out why. And we are still in my room and I'm about to show you the suite area, which is our living room area. Um, right now. And this is it. And this is my friend Claire. Hello, how are you? Who also has a onesie. And this is my friend Monster Megan. And there's Rawr. two Megan, Megans and she's the taller one. She's a monster. monster. Um, and here is our collection of pumpkins. That's funny. Don't and we have things. bunnies running around places. No. Um, there are sweet pets. They are out of control. And no. like I said, I do have a bed. And it's here. Because my friends and I like to sleep out in the living room area um and we have our tv and usually about once a week we have a movie night today we don't have a lot of homework or on weekends um and yeah this is pretty much home and nine of us share this living space and then i will show you the bathroom um this is the bathroom we have Three sinks, two stalls, and then we have three showers back here. Um, yeah, and then we leave our stuff here. And then to get to the other side, this is Neil's side, this is where I live. And then to get to the other side, there's a door separating the bathroom. And this is the other bathroom. Um, they have the same thing. And then you come this way, and this is their living room. And this is my friend Brittany, who also has a onesie. And we have matching shoes. And she is from California. Oh, she has matching shoes too. And then this is my friend Paige. Um, she's from New York. New York. Um, and then, yeah, this is pretty much it. And this is our home. This is Knox College, and I hope you guys enjoy your tour. Thank you.